Well, this is my buddy Sonic. My little American Eskimo. He's got an eye booger there. He's a sweet boy. Wanting some love. But I came in here to put shoes on. Um, <clears throat> I keep my shoes in the closet in the fish room. And I was just blown away by the amount of sunlight that hits this tank. It's on, it's on uh, the opposite side of the, so it'd be on the north wall of the room and there's a south window and it's just blasting the tank with sun right now i don't know if you could tell in the video but it is crazy lit up i mean it is i've never seen a tank blasted like this with sunlight um and a lot of people would worry about the amount of sunlight getting on their tanks and causing algae problems um, and <clears throat> honestly, I don't worry about it. All of my tanks are in this, in this room. Uh, see, that's getting the sunlight on the corner. This one does at a different time of day. They all get direct sunlight for a good bit of time at some point during the day, either from an east facing window or a south facing window, uh, depending on the time of day. So, you know, I don't worry about it. And honestly, I think I do have hair algae but I don't think that's from sunlight. I think it's from nutrients because the tanks are so densely stocked and so heavily fed. Now this tank has no algae problems at all, but the only overhead light it has is that desk lamp. So <clears throat> it's not very good light for growing plants and nothing in here needs much light. Um, moss, hornwort, rekia, and some sort of grassy stuff that's floating there in the corner. Um, I mean, it's, I like the sunlight. I think that it actually helps create a more natural system if you can get a little bit of natural sunlight on the tank. Um, that's my personal opinion, but I just love how bright this tank is right now and the guppies are just glowing because of the sunlight. Also, um, <clears throat> I thought that this little desk lamp, I was so impressed, the lights aren't on right now, but I was so impressed with how much light is getting uh, or how much growth I'm getting in these plants despite just having a little desk lamp. It doesn't even have a daylight bulb. It's just a regular soft white bulb right now. And granted, I'll leave it on sometimes for 24, 48 hours because it doesn't have a timer on this particular tank. The other ones do, but this one doesn't. And I thought, wow, that's really doing a good job on growing these plants. Granted, they're low light or easy plants, but it's not just that. Apparently every day this is getting blasted, at least for a little while, with direct sunlight, <laughs> which is awesome. I love it. Um, so I guess the moral of the story today is don't be afraid of sunlight getting into your tank. This makes me wonder if I even need to run a light on this tank or if the sunlight itself is enough because uh, it is quite intense. Um, but anyway, yeah, don't be afraid to run uh, let your tank see the sun. It'll be okay. Uh, and I don't find, I, I get spot algae over time, but it takes a long time to accumulate to a point where it's noticeable, and then I just scrub it off. Um, so I don't get huge accumulations of algae. I have black beard algae, um, but that tends to come with tanks as they age, and I've had that in tanks that don't get direct sun before. I've had it, um, yeah, I have it show up. Hair algae and blackbird algae just show up. Um, so again, I think that's related to density of uh, stocking because they're all breeding guppies and um, just how well, she found something. Nailed it. There's, believe it or not, this bare bottom tank is full of scuds. There's a population of scuds in this tank um, and they continue to survive despite how many fish are in here. All my tanks have scuds in them. I don't know where all they came from, but they all have scuds. <laughs> um, which is a great food source if the fish find them. But yeah, light, I don't know. I don't think that the sunlight hitting these, if it was all day long, sure, but for probably just a couple hours a day, I don't think this is causing an algae problem. In fact, I know it's not. This tank has no algae in it whatsoever. Uh, but the plants are growing, and so that's good. Um, and I think it's encouraging microorganism life in the tank too. I can see as I'm watching here filming 
that there are guppies grazing in the moss and on the sponge filter. And I did see one female nail something in midwater. I don't know what she got, but she got something. Just nailed it. Um, so, yeah, let your tanks, if you want, let them have some sun. I'm, I'm again, you don't want to do it all day, but this probably gets blasted for a couple hours um, and it's fine. So, enjoy the sun on your aquariums. It's a beautiful sight.